That intro is actually shot and edited by the new Master Shot AI. The drone is flying itself. There's this new function on here. Oh, is that right? It's doing all these moves itself. And then it's going to even edit it together, too. No. I swear to God. And DJI program edited that. Did they do a good job? Yo, yo, Josh, yo. So today we're talking about the newest drone from DJI, no longer called Mavic. It's now the Air 2S but we all know it's a Mavic 2 Air with a super sensitive sensor. Cause now with this thousand dollar drone, you can shoot in 5.4K, 12.6 stops at dynamic range. All right, let's take a look what's inside. So by the name alone, I can tell you that this is the exact same body and the same battery as the Mavic Air 2. This is the combo flight kit. So it comes with this nice bag, some extra batteries. Looks like we got the same transmitter here. Yeah, I mean, this looks exactly the same as the Mavic Air 2, but now obviously with a much bigger sensor. Did they make getting this thing off a little bit? All right, it's a little bit easier. There we go. Same batteries, same size, upward sensors. So apparently the obstacle avoidance on this has been increased now. I mean, I've never really used obstacle avoidance. You guys are gonna like this episode because we're actually revisiting an episode I shot a few weeks ago. I uploaded this property video. This video was the best property I've ever filmed in my life. And I've shot several episodes as well as some of my real estate tutorial course. So I uploaded that video like two weeks ago and the number one request was a follow-up BTS video. We're gonna finish up an episode that I attempted to shoot there but I had to abandon because... Up on that ridge right there. Holy crap. This gnarly hill, I am like covered in burrs. I mean, this is hiked. Oh. All right. Nope, not that time. I was actually talking about. Oh my God, Lou just totally. He crashed it in my car and he's bleeding all over. I hope he's okay. Lou, you okay? That's it? I'm surprised they didn't take off a finger. Right. Right, right, right. It came right. I'm like, all right. I'm like, you got some. Why don't you clean up yourself? See, if I had upward obstacle avoidance on the Inspire 2, maybe I wouldn't have crashed. Except for the two sensors on top, it's identical to the Mavic Air 2. So because it doesn't have a quad bayer sensor, it's not gonna have that HDR function, which I actually liked from the Mavic Air 2, but it does shoot 5.4K resolution and it does shoot 4K 60, 10 bit, it shoots D-Log. Let's revisit that video I attempted to shoot last year. And now let's add in the Air 2S footage. Today I'm back doing some pickup shots. Brought all of my drones because I've been super impressed with Mavic Air 2 with the HDR function. Can it hold up to my other drones, including my super ridiculous expensive Inspire 2, which I use for all of these houses. I'm not exactly sure how much this house is, but I do know that it's rented for $350,000 a month. So you can probably do the math. Wow. Typically for these homes, drone probably accounts for about 10, maybe 15% of the videos. But the parts that it does fill in for is totally essential. For this home, I would use the Inspire 2. It has, I think, 14 stops at dynamic range, and it can also shoot raw. So you're talking about the best of the best, but it's also $15,000 for like the drone and the lens and the battery and all that. So it's a real, real investment. Oh. There's a button here that moves the bridge across the moat, which also doubles as the pool. All right. All right, Lou. The uh, landscapers are almost gone, so I think it's time we put up the drone. Lou, did I tell you the time I crashed my drone? Over there, 
right over there I crashed my Inspire 2. This is the upstairs pool, just in case you don't have enough energy to go downstairs to that pool. What can I get for you to drink, sir? Finest whiskey. You want whiskey? I uh, have a pool water. Uh, what do we have here? The owner is so cool. I bet you he'd let me have a drink anyway. You put in a hard day's worth of work. You should eat, uh, like you deserve a drink. Uh, ooh, what is this? This is excellent. Habiki. No. Drone first. Drone first. Drone first. Then, yeah, then we move whiskey. Dude, is this a house or are we at the Mondrian? That's the security guard. He comes with the property. I'm not kidding. Right now you can rent the property. He comes with it. I, to be honest with you, this is fully stocked. This is like what you would expect at a normal bar. Where's the top shelf stuff, James? Wow, 800 wine bottles. Yeah. Oh my God. Wow, what's the temperature? It feels like 60 degrees. It's 58 degrees. 58? Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Let us have a drink and, we'll, and spark up a cigar tonight. Yeah. Uh, one left. Dude, check this out. This is the chef kitchen. Look how nice this is. Super like high-end balanced knives. So I filmed this like six months ago and none of this was here. And it just looks so much better now that, you know, all the pots and pans and accoutrements are plugged in. Check this out, Lou. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I mean, who needs a restaurant open when you got like this house? You got your own little sushi bar. Wow, this is nice. So fun. I like. I don't even want to do the YouTube anymore. I just, we just let's just film homes. Like I just leave YouTube forever and just film homes. All right, so now that break time's over and I got all the drones, let's stack them side by side and see where the Air 2S fits. All right, Mavic Mini, super affordable. Doesn't shoot 4K, but 2.7K. We'll sh try that out at 30 frames. Mavic Mini is the smallest drone I have. I most likely wouldn't use this drone in a professional setting unless I had to. The image is a bit soft and digital for my taste, but in cases where you can't fly drones over 250 grams, this can come in very handy, and I have used it in professional shoots for that reason. It's affordable, and with a bit of denoise and elbow grease, you can squeak out a passable image. If I had to use one of these 250 gram drones, I would probably go with the Mavic Mini 2 because that one shoots 4K. Mavic Air 1, super tiny. The image is definitely better. Better color, better dynamic range. With good lighting, I could definitely use this in the edit, though I may be in trouble for nighttime shots as it's got a small sensor. All right, Mavic Air 2. It's got H.265 encoding, so you're getting more information better bit rate. Wow, this HDR looks pretty good. It shoots higher frame rates, but for most real estate, I still just use 30p. This quad bayer sensor is actually taking two video files at the same time, layering them, and then spitting out an ultra high dynamic range video file. You can see it going to work in this shot as it's exposing for both outdoors and indoors. Normally that's a trade-off, but with this drone, you get both. Like, I wonder what this would look like flying it indoors, like replacing my normal camera shots. This is the only drone currently on the DJI lineup that does this. It's a bit noisy of a sensor as the pixel pitch on these sensors is 0.8 micrometers. So this drone looks best in full daylight and bright, fantastic sunsets. Color grading on the HDR mode has a learning curve, but it yields utterly fantastic results when done correctly. I could definitely use this in these videos, though nighttime twilight shots may be an issue with noise. Mavic 2 Zoom. Surprisingly, I really like this footage. I really like this drone for the affordability and the zoom function. You can get an expensive looking shot with the zoom functions and a little bit of movement. The color is great and the noise is not that bad. It doesn't have as big of a sensor, so the low light twilight shots may be a bit of an issue. Definitely is a trade off in image quality here, but you make up for it with this zoom function, which gives a very expensive aesthetic. Mavic 2 Pro, 
the workhorse. This is the first drone that I shot in 10-bit, and I did some really cool color grading that first time around two years ago. It tops out at 4K30, but the evening shots are fantastic and noise-free. I have used this drone plenty of times for these shoots, and the footage fits seamlessly. It doesn't have the depth and the parallax of the Mavic 2 Zoom or the Inspire 2 with a long lens, but it is a workhorse drone and is still plenty capable. Back here a year later, could this drone be the drone? Does it even compare to the Inspire 2? Now the Inspire 2 footage is still the best in my opinion and with its price that I paid for it, I'm kind of relieved. But the $1,000 price tag of the Air 2S, it clocks in at a close second and you can definitely see the extra resolution in the day footage. When compared to the Mavic Pro 2, it is definitely sharper there's a little bit more color fidelity. And while they both go up to ISO 6400, the Air 2S imagery just feels brighter, which makes this a very compelling buy at $1,000. Add a solid denoiser to the picture, and now you got a Twilight shooter. All right, so now we are at Civil Twilight. This is the darkest that I normally will shoot because after that, you can't see the mountains or anything, so there's no real context. So let's see how the Air 2S does at the highest ISO. Let's give it a shot. For the last shots of the evening, I pushed the Air 2 sensor to the max. 6400 ISO, 1 over 24 shutter speed. At this level, the noise is quite noticeable, but not the worst I've seen. With a noise reduction pass in DaVinci Resolve, I get a much softer but less noisy version of the image, and it looks brighter than what I'm used to seeing. This footage really does clean up well. When compared to the denoised Inspire 2 footage, there's definitely an advantage with the longer lens of the Inspire 2, which shoots 6K. Now, right off the bat, my Inspire 2 shoots 5.2K in ProRes, which you need a license for, but it also shoots 6K in Cine DNG, which you also need a license for. The Super 35mm sensor allows the most light, and with the same fast aperture of f2.8 as the Air 2S, the low light is on par. It's very clean, and the long lens makes all the shots look very expensive. It's not hard to see why, time and time again, this is the drone that I choose to film these uber expensive properties. However, when you put the two side by side, the Air 2S has a remarkably clean image. Very sharp, very vibrant, and very bright. Brighter than it should be for a one inch sensor. So uh, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna let Master Shot do the work and I'll just sit down and I guess I'll just, I don't know, maybe relax by the fire here. Basically does all the work for you. Hit the button and it shoots and edits and then all you have to do is just upload. I mean, uh, it's pretty wild actually if you think about it. Um, like what left is there to do? Should I uh, try to fly through that? I think this drone excels in professional settings where you need that higher resolution. Maybe you want to future proof it, or maybe you know these are going to be viewed on very sharp big screens. Now, typically, when I shoot one of these homes, I'm shooting it the widest field of view at the sharpest aperture and sharpest settings that I can possibly do it. Despite having the same sensor adjustable aperture, the Air 2S is fixed 2.8. So not as much flexibility, but I don't know that I ever actually really used that aperture setting on there, so not a big deal breaker for me. It's not 48 megapixels like the Mavic Air 2. Again, it's double the sensor, so you're gonna get double the light in here as well. In terms of low light, the pixel pitch on the Sony a7S II is 8.4 micrometers. So this is really, really good. The pixel pitch on the Mavic Air 2 is 0.8 micrometers, so it's it's not that great. This drone requires a lot of light to look good. Whereas the pixel pitch on this is 2.4. So it's definitely going in the right direction. To kind of summarize, I'm very impressed with this drone. I didn't think that I was gonna see the 5.4K, but I mean, it's, it's definitely there and it's very, very clean. And the low light shots are 
very, very usable. It might be the best affordable drone low light shots that I've ever used. It makes a very compelling argument all for a thousand bucks. I mean, Listen, Lou, I don't want you to feel bad, okay? Okay. It, you're not a man until you crash a big drone like that, okay? <laughs> until you, that's a sign of manhood that's in the right. modern era. That's right, Let me see your battle scarf. It's, I mean, it's, du all, it's, it's doubled fine. up now. I got two band-aids on there. Wow, we got so incredibly lucky. Check this out, like, 20 feet that way. I mean, it could have smacked in that door. Who knows how many thousands of dollars that door is? That's probably $75,000 door.